Hello, welcome. Um, let's solve this question together. They want us to graph the absolute value of x minus 3 on the axes below. Let's solve it in two ways. We know that, you might not know this, but the absolute value function when you graph it looks like this. All right, just I'll throw a couple of points on here. And basically this makes sense to me because you're finding the absolute value of your x and Every time you do that, that gives you a point. So when x is 1, the absolute value of x is 1. So the first point is 1, 1. For 2, height's 2. For 3, the absolute value of 3 is 3. And for 4, the absolute value is 4. The same is true for negatives. Negative 1 has an absolute value of 1. Negative 2 has an absolute value of 2. Negative 3 has an absolute value of 3. And so on and so forth. That's, what y equals, that's when y equals the absolute value of x. But with function transformations, if you're going to subtract 3 here, Right? It's like subtracting 3 from your input. You go to actually move 3 places to the right. 1, 2, 3 here. And you get this new function. And I'll show you a couple of examples so you can help make sense of, you can make sense of this one. Um, so draw a line. So this is the answer. And if you're doing what I'm doing, which is drawing several graphs, right? make sure you label that this is y equals the absolute value of x minus 3. Um, and if, if you're like, what? You know, where's that coming from? Well, let's make a little table. So if we have x's and then y is equal to the absolute value of x minus 3, we'll just plug in a couple of points. So we'll plug in 0, we'll plug in 3, and we'll plug in um, uh, 6. So if we plug in 0, 0 minus 3 is negative 3. But the absolute value of negative 3 is just 3. So on our graph, the first point is 0, comma 3. That's right here. Then if we plug in 3, the absolute value of 3 minus 3 is the absolute value of 0. That's 0. That's this point right here. All right, so just these two points are fitting so far. If I plug in 4, 5, 6, 6 minus 3 is 3, and the absolute value of 3 is 3. So our next point is 6, 3, which is right here. You can do that for all the points here. You'll see that it does work. Now, if that's not making sense, you can take this task on the graphing calculator. What I would do is go to y equals. I would clear off any old functions. Clear, enter, clear, enter. I'm going to go to function 1. I'm going to hit math. Go to number. Absolute values right there. And I want oops, the absolute value of x minus 3. So sorry. Math. Number. Absolute value. x minus 3. Now when I go to graph, I can see the function. If I hit trace, I can see the points on the graph. It's not always the most helpful because you have all these decimals here. So what I could do is hit second graph. And second graph gives me a table of all the points that make the function we're trying to graph. So you can use that to quickly graph this function here. All right, hope that helped.